the leading of the Holy Spirit, a special healing miracle service shall henceforth be called Liberation Hour. Amen. For the hour has come to liberate the world from all oppressions of the devil. Sickness and disease is only one of them. All oppressions of the devil, including marital spells, <laughs> the spell of barrenness, business failure and frustrations, career breakdowns, name it, loss of memory, failure syndrome, every oppression of the devil. The Lord said to me in the word of faith that he is the sea, the same that delivers the oppressed. The same that makes fruitful the barren. The same that breaks marital spares. The same that confers breakthroughs in our endeavors. The same word of faith. And interestingly, Tuesday is 29th of May, and 29th May 1981 was when Faith Liberation Hour started. Before God of heaven, I, I didn't know until I was writing the small advert that would go on our social media today. Then this is 29th. Flag back. My God, 29th of May 1981, we had the kickoff of Faith Liberation Hour, our fellowship. So it's a raw reenactment of the liberation mandate. Let everyone not in a position to be there to connect. Maybe they're on hospital bed, they're disenchanted somewhere. Let them connect online. There is no distance in the word of the spirit. There shall be an outbreak. Outbreak of power. Outbreak of authority. Yeah. How many still remember the Indian testimony of bone marrow cancer? God healed from this service all the way in India. Checked up on Tuesday, bone marrow cancer could not be found. He came and stood there one year after. He said, I'm still free. God is a wonder working God. So, the liberation hour is for you to, to silence all the harassment of the oppression of the devil in your life. So, get connected and be blessed as you do. Time is 8 o'clock to 10 a.m. in the morning. Jesus is Lord. Lift up your two hands. And pray that this week, by the help of the Holy Ghost, will be a most fruitful week in your life. As you target individuals on your prayer altar, you target families on your prayer altar, you make moves strategically by the help of the Holy Spirit. Knowing that everything you invest is returning multiplied to you. Now pray, pray, pray. I'm not returning here empty on Sunday. No. This midweek service, I'm taking someone to my zone. This coming to WSF, I'm taking someone out there to myself. Let God know what to desire. Let God know what to look forward to. Five weeks more to go, five weeks more to go. Five weeks more to go is more than enough for God to turn anybody's story around. More than enough for anybody to turn. More than enough for God to turn anyone's stories around. Lord, this must be a season in my life I will live to remember. Make this a most memorable season in my life. The remaining eight weeks, surprise me. Surprise me. Change my prayer life. Surprise me. Change my prayer life. Surprise me. Ignite my passion for souls. Surprise me. Cause my zeal and sense to come alive. Surprise me. There is nothing in doing nothing. Nobody goes forward without taking steps. No one goes forward without taking step. You don't pray to go forward. You take steps to go for, to go forward. Pray for strength to take steps. You must take steps. You must go forward. I must take steps. You must go forward. There is nothing in doing nothing. There is nothing in doing nothing. Nothing of value is free. Favor has to be entreated. Favor has to be provoked. Take grace from heaven. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Lift up those two hands. May the same signature of favor that is over this commission worldwide.
come upon your life today. May the signature of undying passion for God that kept changing our story as a commission year in year out come upon each one's life afresh. I proclaim your life blessed. Your household blessed. The works of your hand blessed. More importantly, I proclaim your work with God blessed. I decree that your spiritual life changes level. Because we only prosper to the level of our spiritual prosperity. May your spiritual prosperity come alive. In the name of Jesus. No evil occurrence in your household. No weeping or mourning under your roof. It's declared a new dawn for your life and your household. Every arrow of wicked targeted at you and your household return back to sender. Your eyes shall no more see evil. Your eyes shall no more see evil. Your eyes shall no more see evil. Everybody, everywhere we know that you're a winner. Not just a winner by name, but a winner by winning. That you're not just a winner by name, but a winner by winning. This week, your miracle jobs arrive. Your marital restoration takes place. Your miracle marriage takes on. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Now receive the help of the Holy Spirit. To remain on key with Jesus. Receive the help of the Holy Spirit. To remain on fire on your prayer altar. Receive the help of the Holy Spirit for revelation and illumination in the Word of God. Receive the help of the Holy Spirit to live a life that pleases God in the name of Jesus. It's the dawn of a new day. It's the dawn of a new day for you in the name of Jesus. Go in peace. Your testimony is sure this week. People will congratulate you this week. From after this service, you'll be hearing congratulations. News of congratulations will come your way. Every time business picks up again, every car crashing career picks up again. Everyone called unemployed is a week of testimony for you. No one will ask you again, where is your God? Your God will show up in your life. He will show up in your affair. The one called barren, they are now fruitful. The one called solitary, you are declared married. In Jesus' name, no accidents, no mishaps, no regrets, no pities. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father.